How much difference does good leadership make to the performance of people? Oh, <laughs> I think I think probably all of us know the answer to that ourselves, don't we? Because <laughs> we've probably had good managers, good leaders, and we've also had bad ones where we've, we've just wanted to do what we need to do to get out of there and go home. A um, couple of thoughts on that one, really. I believe, and, and, and we believe theoretically, there's a thing called discretionary effort, which is that each of us kind of ultimately decides how much work we'll do in a day or a week or a month. Um, <laughs> and we decide whether we'll go the extra mile or not. And I think leadership and the people we work with has a massive impact um, on that. There was recently a, um, an exercise carried out in the States by Forbes, which looked at the levels of engagement of people where they felt their leaders were, were, were good. And it was something like a 50% difference. So if normal people were 40% engaged, those with effective leaders were 68% engaged. So it's yeah. like an enormous yeah. amount of difference. And what that would lead to is people being prepared to go that extra mile. There's also some negative stats about um, the CIPD did a survey last year which looked at why people leave organizations and something like 46% of people left their organization because of their leader. So yeah. they didn't leave because they didn't like the job. They didn't leave, leave because they didn't like the company. They actually left because they didn't like the manager. So yeah. it's, it's clear that is the positives, but they're also the kind of negatives of getting it wrong. I've read that people leave, they, de they leave jobs because of not the bad job, the bad manager. Yeah, absolutely. They leave the manager. <laughs> so, and, and if you think that they estimated that every time somebody leaves a job, it costs between twenty and thirty thousand pounds to replace them with the opportunity cost, the time, and and the and the recruitment. It's a big loss, isn't it? If they've it gone is. because they don't like you as a manager, <laughs> or leader, or business owner. <laughs> and then people wonder why they have a high turnover of staff. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, they don't want to look at themselves, do they? <laughs> As leaders. It's all the other reasons, not me. Yeah, that's the bad managers that do that. <laughs> yes. But I think all, all the organisations that we are working with, even the tiniest ones, if they've got people, should carry out and, and probably get somebody to carry it out for them. Some kind of exit interviews when people do leave. Because it's so critical, isn't it, to hold on to good people and at least understand the reasons why people have moved on. Yeah, definitely exit interviews. I think a lot of small businesses don't do that. No, they don't. But Once they get to a certain size, they will. But, but even then, I worry about some of our larger clients because they'll do them internally. And I do wonder how honest people are then in giving that feedback. Yeah. Because we as consultants actually do it for some clients. We do the, we do the exit interviews rather than they do it. All right, I'm sure okay. they, they get a much better, and it's confidential, so they get a much better um, idea, I think, of why people are, because it's, I think it's difficult, isn't it, when, when the manager says, why are you leaving? Are you going to say, it's because of you. <laughs> <laughs> you keep moving the goalposts and you're rude to me and you don't say thank you. No, <laughs> not many people will do that. Yeah, it depends on the person, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, absolutely.